This is a mosquito trap that I'm building using a off-the-shelf bug zapper, a bucket, some screen mesh, and a cut-up food container. So the concept behind this very simple mosquito zapper is that mosquitoes need to go to water to breed. So they're going to find a source of water and they're going to find the easiest source of water that's the closest. So this bucket is going to be pre-filled with water, put some grass and hay and stuff into it to make it stagnant quicker, and then it's going to emit smells that a mosquito is attracted to to go lay their eggs. So the smell of stagnant water is going to escape out the hole in the top of the bucket, and it's going to flow up through the electric grid, and it's going to attract mosquitoes. And the mosquitoes are going to come, they're going to try to follow that smell down into the bucket, but they're going to get zapped by the grid. I've taken the Floton apart to take a look at how it works inside. It's very simple, but it does require the UV bulb to be hooked up because the UV bulb is in series in the circuit with the zapper. So if the UV bulb is not hooked up, the zapper won't work either. I've taped over the UV bulb with some aluminum foil and some foil tape. The idea being that I don't want any UV light emitted because I don't want to attract bugs other than mosquitoes, but the heat emitted by the UV bulb may help attract the mosquitoes because mosquitoes are attracted to heat. They can sense IR. That's part of the way they hone into the animal's bare skin where they can suck the blood. This cut up food container, kind of like one of these containers or a yogurt container, but that I've cut the bottom off of and trimmed part of the top off of going to fit inside of here. So it's going to force any mosquitoes that are coming in searching for water for a place to lay their eggs to go past the grid because they're going to sense the smell of the water coming up through this. And the food container fits down in here like that. And all of this fits on top of the bucket. You still want to keep this part in the bottom to prevent the bulb from falling out. So this is just a regular bucket. I drilled a hole in the bucket lid such that this could just fit perfectly over. And the hole lines up with the food container. I drilled a bunch of tiny little holes around the perimeter here so that when it rains, rainwater will collect in the, these areas and drain through and fill up the bucket. Then you also need to drill a bunch of holes around the perimeter of the bucket such that the bucket won't overflow. It'll only fill up with a certain amount of water and then it'll leak out the side. This piece of screen mesh, it's going to go over the top here and this is going to fit on top of it like that. Conveniently, this one already has some hole areas for screws so that you could put plastic threading or wood screws into these holes to hold it on top of the bucket lid. Here the screws are pre-threaded into the bucket lid with some washers to prevent the screws from pulling through. I'm going to put this screen mesh on here and then line up the screws. So the screen in the bucket lid protects the only entry hole to the bucket that the mosquitoes can pass through because if for whatever reason this bug zapper stops working, you don't want mosquitoes to be able to pass through the bug zapper grid and go down to the water and start breeding. You want to make sure they have no possible way to go down there and breed. So this bucket is going to be pre-filled with water, put some grass and hay and stuff into it to make it stagnant quicker, and then it's going to emit smells that a mosquito is attracted to to go lay their eggs. And the mosquito is going to come, they're going to try to follow that smell down into the bucket, but they're going to get zapped by the grid. For whatever reason, if this fails, like the electricity stops or the zapper grid stops zapping and the mosquitoes are able to pass through the grid, there's a barrier down here of a mosquito screen mesh. So the mosquitoes won't be able to pass through that mesh and they won't be able to reach the water to lay their eggs. Vice versa, if any eggs get into the water, they're not going to be able to escape through the mesh. So this mosquito killer is fail safe. The UV light is left in the center because it's required by the zapper to operate. Because the UV light and the zapper are wired in series, so if the UV light is removed, the zapper won't operate. 
However, I've covered the UV light with aluminum foil so no UV shines through. So I'm not going to attract bugs other than mosquitoes or bugs that are attracted to stagnant water with this bug zapper. I will be swapping this bucket out for a black bucket. So everything's going to be black. It's not going to be bright orange and ugly like this. This can no longer be suspended by this hook up here. It needs to be sitting on the ground and it's going to be stable because there's going to be water in it.